Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and let's discuss how we can use brackets code editor for JavaScript. Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Now, we know that JavaScript is a scripting language or a programming language that is very useful for deciding the behavior of the web pages, right? Now, uh, brackets is very good code editor for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We already know that. We have already discussed this in respect with HTML and CSS, but we have not seen uh, how you can use JavaScript code on brackets. So I've just taken a JavaScript file here and the best part with brackets is that if you have any problem or any issues with the file, for example, suppose you have uh, written a code incorrectly or if you have a spelling mistake or a syntax error, so the inbuilt bracket linters will tell you that error. So what is linters? So basically there are some good linters which are available, for example, JSLint or ESLint or JSHint. So what these linters do is they will just provide you the linting mechanism. So in case if you have any issues or errors with the file, it will just show you those errors. So if you just consider this file, you can see that at the bottom you have this yellow color icon, right? So that means there is some problem with this file. So if you just click this, you see that you have these problems, right? So basically this brackets code editor already contains the JSLint and ESLint engine. So if you see all these warnings, okay, so these are all warnings, right, which is in yellow color. So these are provided using JSLint linter and this linting mechanism is inbuilt in uh, brackets. And if you see, there is also ESLint. So ESLint is also a linting mechanism. And in fact, it is little better than JSLint because it is more flexible and it has some ES6 support and some messages which are more clear. So if you see here, it has already given an error that ESLint has timed out after waiting for 1000 milliseconds. So you see that it has given all the errors and warnings here. Now, in case if you don't want to use the inbuilt linting mechanism of brackets, you can just go to view and there is an option to just disable it or enable it. Now here you see that this option that is lint files on save. Now if you just uncheck this, the brackets code editor will not lint your files. For example, let me just uncheck this and you see that here it is not showing any particular warnings, right? Now these red marks are showing for errors, but you see that here you're not getting a warning symbol, right? Now, if I just go to view and if I just click on lint file on save, you see that now automatically it gives you all the errors and warnings. So I would recommend not to disable this. That means you should always keep this option on. Now, suppose again, if you don't like the linting mechanism of uh, brackets for JavaScript, there are a lot of extensions which you can use. For example, one extension is console plus. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I just give console plus, you can see this extension, right? So I'll just install this. So what it will do is using this extension, you can execute your JavaScript code in this brackets console itself. So let me just close this first. And you can see the icon here, right? So this is for console plus and this extension will show you a console log and a error log. So now let me do one thing. Let me just remove this parenthesis and try to save this file, right? Now, if I just go to my log, uh, to my uh, lint, you see that it has already given all these errors. And if I just click on this particular icon, you see that ideally it should give the logs here. So let me just do one thing. First, let me just save this file and I'll just uh, reload this bracket code editor. And if you would have noticed, 
uh, I have just removed this uh, parenthesis from here, right? So you see that it is showing some uh, error logs, right? So if you just see this uh, icon here for console plus, it is showing a number three, right? So if I just click here, you see that it is showing three errors. Now, if I just say, if I just give a parenthesis here, let me just save this file. And now if you just see, now still this file contains some error. So if you just go to debug, it is going these many errors. Now it has no warnings. And if you just go to errors, you have these errors. Now these errors can be due to some plugins or extensions which you have installed. Now in this case, it is clearly showing like cannot assign control shift T to io.emit.matching pair. That means this is a problem with an extension emit. So if I just go to extension manager and if I just go to install, I'll just search here emit and I'll just disable this extension because this extension is causing some problem. Now, if you're fine with that error, or if you don't want to remove that error, then also it is fine. But I just wanted to show you that if you have any errors, you can just check your logs through this particular extension. That is console plus. Now, if I just disable this extension, that is uh, uh, not console plus extension, but the extension which is emit. And if I just reload it again, you will notice that those particular errors will be gone, right? So you see that now in errors, there are zero errors in the logs. Only there are some issues with the debugs. And if I just come here and let me just go to install. And if I just search here emit, and if I just enable it back, let me just close it. Now again, you see that it is having three errors, right? So if I just go to this log, you can see that these errors were due to that particular emit extension. Again, let me just come to extension manager and I'll just give here JavaScript. And you see that there are a lot of extensions for JavaScript. So based on your particular requirement or choice, you can install a particular extension. And if you just come to JS, you see that again, you will see some of the extensions for JavaScript. And also, if you want to refer more extensions, you can just go to this tutorial. That is, you just have to go to tutorial brain, text editor, and then JavaScript brackets. And here you just have to click on brackets extension. So you will see all those extensions. Those are uh, more popular. And in fact, this particular article will give you all the extensions for brackets for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. And if you want to know more about JavaScript on brackets, you can just click on this. That is brackets JavaScript. And you can just read it from here. So I hope I have given enough information about JavaScript coding on brackets. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer it. So thanks for watching it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.